hanging out. I love you! Guys are the last ones, huh? Last, Good girl. last older couple. I saw... <laughs> I was just hanging in the back, and like, I mean, they were, they were Stan and Esther old, like that kind of, <laughs> they just ended up here, and you, like, you guys look like fucking puberty, like teenagers, <laughs> compared to the other two that left, like, you still have the ability to have your face make different, <laughs> like, like, see how you went, oh. like, they had a face, that just wouldn't move, like you didn't know if they were happy or uh, it just had. <laughs> they, just, they had super old face and they just they just did not belong here. They didn't they did not belong here. So I'm just giving you guys a chance to leave if you need to. <laughs> Even though I know the word fuck wasn't invented. It had to be invented when you was fucking teenagers, right? What, old six? Old, old? Oh, what? <laughs> what was the big swear when you was a kid? When you was hanging niggas from a tree, like... <laughs> no, stop, stop, because that's back in the past. Like, would you go, that motherfucker, look at him swinging. Like, what, what word would you use? I'm just joking, we're joking. You, you've been here for fucking old show, I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> and y'all look alike you've been together so long. Holy fuck balls, nigga. <laughs> Her pussy's allergic. <laughs> it's contagious pussy. You look just like... <laughs> oh, shit. Mm. This is beautiful. Uh, how many people are glad that the news didn't give a fuck about the Chile earthquake? <laughs> Do we have any more space in our life to give a fuck about another? <laughs> I like the reaction to this shit because it's like people get fucking nervous because you try to make a deal with God. So you don't want to laugh at that shit. But that's why I love the news because it tells us what to care about and how long to care about that shit for. <laughs> Let's be honest. If the fucking news said, oh, there was a 7.0 earthquake in Haiti, now sports, you'd be like, I don't give a fuck. Let's be honest. How many times, after two weeks of that shit, you turn on the news, you're like, shit, I still gotta give a fuck about Haiti, nigga? What the fuck? With the telephone? <laughs> On every channel? What does that even fucking mean? Have it on one, so I can fucking turn if I want. Don't have it on every, if you want to have it on every channel, you should have a motherfucker on the next channel going, oh nigga, you turn from the fucking telephone. <laughs> from the fucking ancient telegram. Cause some of us don't give a shit. We was just giving a shit cause God was watching. Oh <laughs> God, I gave my $10 to Yelly. <laughs> I know, I'm always trying to make a deal with God cause I get on airplanes. I'm trying to look for old people to help with their bags. Miss, let me get that bag for you. It's too heavy for you. Let me put it at the top of you. Look God, look. <laughs> I ain't gonna let the plane crash, I Lord. Because I'm such a good person. And when the plane lands, the woman's looking at me like, you wanna get my bag? I'm like, bitch, I kept the fucking plane in the air. <laughs> this selfish motherfucker, I kept this from dying. <laughs> So I understand you can't laugh at Haiti. Cause we getting older. The closer you get to God, the more you don't laugh. When you was younger and you watched the spelling bee, then you go, fuck them. Fuck them kids. So what they can spell. Why the countries ain't better?
gives a shit about spelling in America? If I had to spell restaurant to save my mama's life, she'd be dead in the mouth. Somebody hold a gun in her head. Spell restaurant, nigga! I'd be like, oh shit, I love you, mom. I love you so much. R E S T. <laughs> Can I try necessarily? That's hard too, man. <laughs> Probably. Those little foreign kids are amazing, let's be honest, as much as we don't give a fuck about them. <laughs> we don't care about them, they amazing. Spell, zap it, zap it, da, 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 da. they be like, can you give me the origin of the word, please? <laughs> like, how's he gonna figure this shit out? <laughs> it's, it's Viking with a little bit of Mongolian. <laughs> Cause you know our kids ain't shit with the spelling because we don't give a fuck. But if we did, our kids would be the shit. How many guys they would kick their son in the stomach? Get up, motherfucker! Spell rhinoceros. Or say it first, you rhinoceros. But our kids will never be able to spell their third language. We can't spell it first. These fucking foreign kids spell their third language. With the imagine us in fucking China trying to spell spell open. Uh, two squiggly lines. A house. Four question marks tied in a knot and a, a dragon's nose. Take this swine food shop. Did you say, of course, who said that? Did you take it? Yeah, You did take it, miss, but you felt the pressure of everybody going, you dumb bitch, so you lied. Like we all do. See, the pressure, you took that shit under pressure, and now you're saying you didn't under pressure. But I know you're a little nervous, right? You're not a little nervous. You sure? So you really took it, so you lied twice. Yeah, that shit's crazy. Don't don't just fucking don't take that shit because they tell you to. They're trying to kill us. They're trying to get us to fucking what's wrong for? It is. But why'd you take it? You did fucking take it, liar. You took a fucking swine from the shop. Fucking slave. You just want to use all the fucking shoe. They throw that shit in eggs. Can you Google that shit? I Google swine flu. You know what these fucking symptoms are? The regular flu. <laughs> and there's some people who take regular flu shots. Are you retarded? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? It makes you sick. Are you not well? I'm going to be a different because the government. It's just a lie to make us hate Mexicans for whatever reason. I don't. <laughs> What did Mexicans do to us for us to just be against these motherfuckers? What they do? They're nice people. The nice ones are really nice, let's be honest. The ones that's cleaning your fucking rooms and the. Can you just fold your towels, clean up your fucking. My shoulders going to sleep, so I keep shaking them. Those pile of towels you throw in the corner. Who knows what's wrong? They just come in and grab it. <laughs> You try to just pile up all the fucking white chat ass crap with the white chat ass. Why do we hate foreigners so fucking much? I know, I got an Indian lady that washes my clothes, man. And when I go get my clothes, I expect her to look at me when I come get my clothes like, you stinking. <laughs> Give me some funky shit that I have to wash. I kept these to see if you would fucking clean me, dirty motherfucker. She washes them, man. I mean, let's be honest, though. The bad Mexicans, 
They're really bad. Bad Mexicans will chop your face off and sew it on a soccer ball. Did you, did you read that shit? Just to send a message to the other bad Mexicans. A message? I send a message. You kick the fucking soccer ball with your face on it. So, nigga. Bad Mexicans are fucked up. But still, at the, I mean, it's the bad ones. I'll kick your fucking ball in the, in the bits of the message. But other than that, what the fuck, man? They all right. They, we try to blame them for the bad food, remember? The peanuts, the fucking spinach. My mother was like, oh my God, there's E. coli in the spinach. And I fell for that shit. I'm like, oh, what the fuck is that, mom? She's like, that's human waste. I was like, Mexicans are shitty. <laughs> Wait a minute, I have to fucking wait. I have to pinch the reservoir because that's where the fucking poison liquid that potentially is gonna come out of my dick and hit my vagina. And I'm gonna roll it down. And now we can have enjoyable fucking unraw sex. You ever eat a pussy with a dental down? Because you don't know whether the bitch is dying or not or some kind of disease. So you have to put a half of a trash bag. On top of a to have fun. I'll stick myself with the raw vaccine in a minute. Ooh, what the fuck? I'm awake and treat these fucking side effects. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> What's the side effects? My eyeball pop out? Good. So I'm with the bitch with my eyeball hanging? <laughs> no, I ain't got AIDS, bitch. I took the raw vac. My eyeball is hanging down to my belly button. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Oof. They making us do a bunch of shit. It's scary, dude. You know, the economy, the racial shit, you know. I thought it'd be different last year. We was all holding hands. It's all over racism. We all, we're friends. That shit changed. That shit changed. I thought I would have a white slave by now. <laughs> White bitch, big fat white girl named Susan, just come right in. Come here, fat bitch, get in there, Susan, and lay in my bed and warm it up. <laughs> Pull your titty out and feed my kid. <laughs> Shut up! Why is your husband looking at me like that? He keeps looking at me like that. I'm gonna sell him off. White people get annoyed even thinking about that shit. See how tight that gets? That's just some weird shit. But there's a lot of white people that thought like it was gonna be Negroville. <laughs> Don't know nothing about politics, thought the president was gonna fucking do some foul shit. Ladies and gentlemen, uh <sighs> white people got five minutes to get the fuck out the country before we kill them all. Rape is legal. Uh <sighs> Changing a Star Spangled Banner to a nigga playing bongos over here. All right, hit it, Jerry. Boom, 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 boom. Michelle, give me my bones. I can put it back in my nose. I'm uncomfortable. Ah, that feels much better. Look at me, look at that. Look at that, But it didn't happen. Same old shit. 
over any disease. That's number one. AIDS vaccine? So I can stick my dick in somebody raw? Number one. I had a cancer. And cancer's fucked up. Cancer's fucked up. Some of them. Some are like, oh, you can live. But some are like, ooh. I'm diabetic. Nobody give a fuck about that. Like, if you say, hey, man, I got pancreatic cancer, people go, holy shit. Oh, my God, man. You're going to die. <laughs> Diabetes is... You say, hey, man, I'm diabetic. Motherfuckers are, oh, really? You can't eat cookies, faggot? <laughs> I want lollipops for you, fucking pussy. Stop eating sweets, bitch. That's diabetes, man. Diabetes, shit. When I found, I was 22. I'm 40 now. I found I, I was diabetic when I was 22, and I was the doctor was like, "Yes, you have a terrible disease here, a little sugar." And I'm, I was eating M and M's. I swear to God, and he was telling me I was diabetic. <laughs> What's that? The sugar was going up. What, <laughs> what kind of faggot ass shit is that? Man? So you said in 18 years my toes are gonna tingle a little bit. <laughs> 18 years, nigga, that's the Jetsons. Who, who, I ain't living 18 years from <laughs> now. Now it's here. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> Step on nothing and shit. And I started taking care of myself because, look, uh, I ain't gonna lie, my girl's love is keeping me alive. Women's love is unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, it's, my, my relationship doesn't exist on my love, it exists on her love because she loves us. She loves the whole thing. She loves her, she loves me, she loves the dog, she loves. She wants us all to be here forever and shit, man. Cares about my health. Ain't a motherfucker in here that care about his woman's health. <laughs> Not one. You guys together? No? Who's together? You guys? Who you with? How long you guys been together? How long you been together? Let, let, let her answer. Don't ever answer that question, nigga. Trust me. That's rule number 65 in the handbook. How long you guys been together? A year. Yeah. You don't give a fuck about him that much. How long you guys been together? <laughs> ten years. See what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to ask you a question. In those ten years, have you ever been concerned about her health when she's healthy? Meaning, have you said, hey, baby, you haven't, have you uh, checked, uh, Check your titties for uh, lumps. <laughs> and not because you don't give a fuck about it, it's because you don't give, men don't give a fuck about health in general. Like, prostate check, that shit, guys die from that shit all the time. You have to get your prostate check if you're guys. Same thing, prostate is like breast cancer to us. And, well, yeah, it's our breast cancer. You've gotten prostate checks many times, right, sir? Of course. Um... <clears throat> you know that you can test your own self for prostate if your prostate is swelling up. You stick your own finger in your ass, and if your prostate is swelling up, you won't be able to go but a certain distance. But I'll never know. <laughs> I let my fucking prostate fall out of my asshole the first time. I put my finger in the floor. I'm like, shit. <laughs> And I still wouldn't go to the hospital. I'd call one of my friends on the phone. Hey, man, your prostate never fall out your ass up. And he'd be like, nigga, yeah, just put it back in. Put some duct tape. Let's go to the party. But as far as giving a fuck, no. But I know you, because he's a little bit overweight, a little bit. So I know you're like, hey, honey, blah, 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 trying to keep you alive. And you can't be like, bitch, leave me alone. I'm going to die. You love her love. My fucking girl's love is tremendous. I'll tell you a story, and this is why I take, try to try my best to stay alive now. Uh, when we fuck, we, we're dirty. Me and my girl really, our filth level is on and on. We, we go out there. So after a good sex session, right after, she goes, I think you better go to the hospital. I go, why? She's like, 
you know, your pee tastes like birthday cake. <laughs> <laughs> That's love, nigga. Like, she ain't gonna, you nasty motherfucker. You peed in my mouth. She just, ooh, that is it's delicious. And it shouldn't be. <laughs> supposed to taste like degradation, nigga. It's supposed to taste like, oh, I'm embarrassed. She went, mmm, that's delicious. <laughs> that's fucking love. <laughs> this video is going to look like I'm having a seizure. <laughs> I'm shaking this But it's still so difficult much. to love them, because that's not where I want to be. I want to be running around out here. A lot of pretty girls in this fucking... Shitty casino, man. Just... <laughs> and this is a shitty casino. Like, this is poor people casino, so it's like, it comes my home ain't shit. You see the ceilings, you know, a bad, I've been a lot of hotels, bad hotel. Bumpy, bumpy things on the ceiling, like, stucco. I don't even know what the fuck that is. <laughs> and the ceiling has acne, pimples, where it hurts when you do this. Fingerprints on the mirror closet. A mirror closet. <laughs> so this is prime pussy territory. Some broke bitch just trying to win her fucking rent back, and you just hey, come on, come on, let's go to the fucking. I can't do it. Fuck. Come on up to the fucking mirror. Let me see that. Jacuzzi, I'm in a suite. See the ocean? But I'm trying to be, do the right thing with this love shit. <clears throat> you try. Oh, and you just don't appreciate it? Motherfucker. You know what a man's love is? It's just practical. Basically, out of all the women that he wanted to be with in his life, you were the one that he wanted to make sure was okay. <laughs> That's what a man's love is. It ain't like, oh, baby, I love you so much. It's just like, you, you, if you go, I'm hungry. You hungry? Well, here's some food. <laughs> Because here's the thing, ladies, you got to appreciate this. Food is not something that guys give every woman because they're hungry. We'll feed you if we're trying to get pussy on the first date, whatever. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Choke that down. Um, but I'm hungry. If a girl that I'm not fucking the line for says, I'm hungry. <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> You better watch one of them fucking uh, wood channels so you can find out what tree he bought to eat, bitch, because I'm not feeding you. <laughs> I got a bedtime now because I love my girl. I go to bed. I want to go to bed. What? Go to bed then. Oh, no. Why can't we go to bed? <sighs> it's 8.30. It, bitch, it's 8.30. I know. What are you doing? What was you going to be doing? I was just going to be staring at the ceiling until about 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> so why don't we do it together? I'll be no, fuck that bitch. Don't fuck up my ceiling watching shit. Let's just, we'll go to bed. <laughs> I walk in the room, it's 197 degrees. <laughs> I'm burnt. I'm fucking melting. And she's under the cover, shivering. Under 47 blankets, nigga. Like, I'm like, are you sick or something? I'm the lonely bitch. And she's just, get in the bed. I'm like, all right. Can I lay on top of the... No. Get underneath with me. So I'm underneath 4,000 duvets, nigga. Like, holding it. And the TV's on, I'm trying to watch a little bit. She's like, turn it off. 
I go, can I, can I just leave the sound down? The light's gonna burn my eyes. Now I'm up in the dark, trying to read a newspaper quietly with a cell phone light, leaving now my eyes are burning. Because I love her. <laughs> Shit, I used to wonder why white guys kill their wives all the time. Like, <laughs> I know motherfuckers try to blame OJ for that shit, but niggas really don't. Especially white women. The white women usually be the ones that end up killed. I don't know what you do to your men to get killed, but you, you, do, you do something. I know motherfuckers want OJ to be the wife killer, but only two niggas killed a white woman in the history of life, and that's OJ and uh, Othello. Othello did that shit like in 1406. Two niggas. But I used to not believe that. See, the thing is, I, I haven't dated enough white women to know. I, yeah. Like, black women don't, they don't make you want to fucking kill them. They make you want to hit them. Like, because they're in your face to a degree. Like, my fat! You just be like, wow, I'll, I'll fucking knock this bitch to a... Like, and, and trust me, I don't condone hitting women. But I do condone thinking about it. I condone... <laughs> Wishing somebody else would when they hit my face. <laughs> man, you better get the fuck out of my face, man. Huh? What? You, uh. <laughs> you be with a girl long enough, and I'm dead ass serious, man. You think about killing, you daydream about it. Ten years? What's your daydream? How do you kill in your daydream? <laughs> just focus on me. Don't look at her, because she look right at him like fucking grab his nuts. But just focus on me for a minute. Deal with the pressure later. How do you... What's your murder plot? What's that? Uh, Call a dude? Shoot her? Nigga, like... <laughs> That's my plan. I put a pillow over my girl's head and uh, shoot her twice with a silencer. And the <laughs> I love that sound in the daydream. <laughs> and uh, feathers fly up out of the pillow. <laughs> Pull the pillow away and her eyes are open like she's just looking at me like, and I close them gently because I love her. <laughs> don't get upset because we think about that. I don't. I mean, I've never even mushed a bitch. I've never even mushed a girl in my life. I don't know if any women been mushing. I don't even know if you know what mushing. Mushing is a punchy, pushing, mashing. It's just. When your girl's yapping too much, you just, please, get the fuck. <laughs> it's not hit. It's a... Ugh. But I've never even done that. Look at her looking at him. Like, I don't believe this guy. You would never think about doing that to me, would you, Stanley? He thinks about it, miss. <laughs> you know why he thinks about it? What you're doing to him right now, as he's trying his best to enjoy me, right? You're like, I don't... <laughs> But it's not your fault, it's his fault for bringing it. I wanna go. And he could have been, no, nah, you're not gonna like this guy, but he brought her. That's your fucking fault. Look, look at him laughing. He keeps looking at her. He went, <laughs> that nigga's out of his mind. But, miss, leave him the fuck alone for five fucking minutes. You're in his life. Why are you torturing him? I don't take my girl to nothing. I wanna have a good time, man. Nothing. Where you going? to the movies. Can I go? No. Nope. Why? What are you going to see? Avatar. What's that? Exactly, bitch. Exactly. <laughs> Giant blue people flying around on a planet that doesn't exist. Shut the fuck up. Stay home. <laughs> Leave him alone, miss. That's why you end up fucking dead. That's why, I, look. I'm from Boston. I have a little bit of sense. What you did to him is why white women end up dead. Because see, white women don't yell at their men. You don't motherfucking go, mother, mother! You quietly whittle away at his spirit, like for. Where I saw what you did, where you, you didn't yell at him, it's just like he's focusing, and then you quietly say shitty things to him to make him lose his confidence. I've, I've seen it. Freddie, you're a fucking nothing. <laughs> fucking breath stinks on the 
the time and hate you. Mother hates you. And he just starts to slowly have nothing left but murder. <laughs> things that always makes me like, I always try to look for ways to bring us together a little bit. And, and relationships bring us together because they will always want us to be ready to hate each other. I'm tired of hating white people. Like, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm not just like white people who are likable. But I can't. Even white, likable white people, I gotta go, mm, white. <laughs> mm, white tricks. <laughs> But I'm trying, but they don't make it easy. Look what the news do to us. You see what the news do to black dudes. What are we in the news? Let's be honest. We're the fucking drive-by shooters. Uh, rapists. Um, gas station robbers. And dumb murderers. Like our murders are dumb. We'll shoot an Indian guy in the stomach at the gas station. But sometimes he deserves it because he won't let the cigarettes go. Like we're trying to take the cigarettes and he's just like... <laughs> You won't take these cigarettes and you just go, and then he's dead. You're like, why don't you let the fucking cigarettes go, Indy? <laughs> white women, you got you vilified in the news a little bit now. Watch Nancy Grace, what do white women do? Kill their babies. Every single show. Jazz couldn't find a babysitter to go to the mall, so she threw a baby down a bowling alley lane! <laughs> Every time I see a white woman pushing the baby, I'll be like, I'm going to take that baby, because she's going to kill it. <laughs> and blame me for that shit. Fuck that. I'm taking a nap. Black women, they don't vilify, but they always have them looking like some sort of, like, Aunt Jemima, like some sort of uh, version of somebody that's going, ooh, Lordy, like this. <laughs> It'd be the pine. So watch, I'm telling you, this country only wants black bitches to go, ooh, Lordy, the pie saw lady. You better clean up that mess with the pie saw. Woo! And I'm dead ass. Watch, I'm telling you. And watch fucking Nancy Grace. You think I'm lying about white bitches fucking killing their babies every fucking week. Then there's a choir of Popeyes. The Popeyes lady, you got to. She's a little nicer, but it's still, we got to enjoy it. Delicious fries, chicken. Ooh, delicious Cajun French fries. Ooh. Y'all seen that movie Precious? Monique about to win all the Oscars awards, because, and all she's doing is ju it's just a movie full of bitches going, ooh, one hitting another fat bitch with, ooh, hit you with a frying pan. Oh, Lord, it, ooh. And the Academy Award goes to, oh, Lordy, Lord. No black bitch has ever won an Academy Award who wasn't going, Lordy. Whoopi Goldberg and goes, oh. <laughs> Even Halle Berry in fucking Monsters Ball. She played a, oh, Lordy, my husband's done died. And I got the, oh, Lordy, Lordy. <laughs> White boys, you know what y'all are, pedophiles, fucking kidnap a bitch for 18 years, <laughs> get her pregnant, mass murder, serial killing, you know the deal. But that's only if I believe in the news. I got too many white friends believing that fucking shit. I thought all black people hate dogs. I, <laughs> I love dogs. I didn't realize I fucking that Michael Vick shit, because all they would put on TV is black people that hate dogs. Fuck the dog, nigga. I hate fucking dogs. I kill this fucking dog, nigga. <laughs> Stab a dog with a motherfucking pencil in his motherfucking eye, nigga. <laughs> then they show a fucking white woman tongue kissing a puppy. They show how much white woman. I love dogs. Look at this dirty bitch kissing a dog in the mouth. Sticking ass white bitch kissing dogs in the fucking mouth. I fucking love dogs. How can you hate a dog? You watch them commercials and come on at four in the morning when you're having a fucking just happy time and then that Sarah McLaughlin shit was just oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Fucking show a kitten with 
fucking a swollen conjunctivitis eye, like just, it can't be out. <laughs> Puppy smoking a cigarette, missing his, he got a headache bag and he's missing the puffs, he ain't got no puffs, somebody cut his puffs off, let him make a little <laughs> Dog lover. Even though I'm not a fucking, I really do love dogs, but I'm not the dog whisperer. I got puppies that shit where they ain't supposed to. And when I was a kid, if a dog shit, we, we, you just, it was easy remedy. You just hide behind the corner and wait till he shit. You just catch him. Hey, motherfucker. Hey, hey. Shove his face in shit. Throw him against the wall. Beat him with a Bible. <laughs> Stick your motherfucker. Shit on my wrong, nigga. Now you got a tickle on this shit. That's so okay, boopy. That's how men gotta be now. We gotta go that slow. Get boopy to everything. Boopy to boop boop. We're finished. <laughs> men are done. We, we, I don't know what the fuck we gonna do. Those women just don't appreciate us. Don't. Yeah, I mean, how? <laughs> Huh. All we ask is, I mean, I mean, other than one minor flaw, men are perfect. <laughs> <laughs> if you think about it, ladies, if you think about it past any hatred you might have towards men, it's just with perfection. We really are. <laughs> Rather be a guy? I don't go, I wish I was a girl. A lot of women go, I wish I was a fucking guy. So I can open this pickle jar. <laughs> the only flaw we have is that one thing where strange. Vaginas <laughs> beckon us. It, it, and this is something we have to discuss, man. We have to discuss this. Now, I've seen this girl grab onto her good looking boyfriend a little tighter, but let's be honest. He's a good looking dude. Now, you know, think about it, you are with him because he likes pussy. <laughs> now, what? Why did you become adverse to other pussy in his life? See how the vaginas shut things down with your quietness? I don't give a fuck. You, did you, you feel it? I they just go, I don't like this line of where it's going. But you didn't even have a discussion. It's just pussy shut down the whole conversation. I can't have it. That's what's destroying families. Is this cheating shit? Did you feel it? Pussy powers activate. Full <laughs> of quiet. <laughs> Think about what cheating is anyway, ladies. Think about what it is for a second. A guy sneaks out of his house to go find some happiness behind your back so your feelings aren't hurt. <laughs> yeah! Cheating is for you. It's not for me. <laughs> I don't want to fucking go running around behind dumpsters to go fucking find strange pussy. I want to fuck her right in the house, not in front of you. Look at Miss Ten Years. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever had a discussion about fucking threesomes? Not even a discussion. After 10 years, 10 fucking years. <clears throat> See, you're where you want to be. You're in love. You have a family, you have kids and stuff, no kids. But family is 10 years, that's family. So kids is just elementary. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you where you want to be. Dick doesn't mean anything to you. Dick doesn't mean anything to women. Dick is only important when it's inside you. It's not important when it's not inside you. You don't work hard to get dick. That's why you guys are, 
you lack the skill <laughs> to get what you want to get. You force your way. Look at how he's holding it now. He has to hold it with, I don't agree with anything this fat fuck says. <laughs> That's why we losing, dude. Because you're just like, what is he talking about? That's what you Women go, well, what about us? I want a threesome. No, you don't. You don't. <laughs> Plus a threesome is two girls and a guy. <laughs> <laughs> two guys and a girl is a train. <laughs> <laughs> two men and a woman is me and my friend are fucking you. Not us. It's not an us thing. <laughs> Me and two women is us. I love them. And they love me. And we love us. And I want to make sure we all love each other. It ain't two girls like, all right, I sit on his toes and you sit on his face. I don't want to get near you. It's just, it's bliss. And you don't have to fight for them. You don't have to figure out, you don't have to put your best clothes on. And look in the mirror and go, how am I going to suck some balls tonight? <laughs> you can get dick by pointing at your vagina. You can, <laughs> when you go out later, right, go to the floor, stand on top of the table, right, and just look a guy in the face and just point at your pussy, right? <laughs> Don't even be sexy. Don't go, ooh, just... Just grunt, right? And lift your shoulder up and let foam come out your mouth. And go, and whoever you're looking at, he'll just look around for a second and make sure, you know, it ain't a trick. Like, That's why you think, because of how easy you get dick, that this is a mute point, that this is some bullshit, that I'm telling you how fucking difficult it is for a man to stay faithful. From time to time, you should thank this motherfucker for fighting hard not to cheat on you. Thank you, baby, for not fucking other women. I know it's tough. <laughs> yeah, you think he want to appreciate that shit? Because <sighs> it ain't about hate. When a woman cheats, it's about shit's going wrong. He's not showing me attention, and damn, man, I'm gonna fucking tell him to fuck me just because he's an asshole. <laughs> Ask a woman if she's happy. You happy with your family? You happy with your children? You happy with your with your marriage? You happy with your home? Yes. Would you fuck that guy? Would you fuck Brad Pitt to ruin your marriage? No, I wouldn't risk it. Ask a guy, you happy with your marriage? Yeah, happy with your yep, kid, yep. See that girl passed out in the mud? <laughs> would you would you fuck her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I would. I fucking would. I fucked that girl rolling around in the mud. It's a disease. Have a conversation about it, miss. Holding on to that man for dear life. Have a conversation. You don't think he wants other pussy? You can't fight that out of him. Strange pussy is important. <laughs> Shit! You know how you got this guy right here? What's, what's your name, man? Timmy? Jimmy. Jimmy? Timmy? Timmy? <laughs> good looking dude. And you're a good looking woman. But here's what Jimmy is he's a sport fisherman. Men are born sport fishermen. We love fishing. We just love it. It just makes us feel good. We go out there and try to catch a fish. Oh, get that shit. Oh, fuck, it's hard. I ain't getting one today. But I'm going to keep fighting because I love trying to catch a fucking fish. You finally catch one. You fucking show it to your friends. <laughs> Take a couple of pictures and shit. And then you throw it back in the water. <laughs> That's our instinct. <laughs> But any woman in here with a boyfriend or a husband, you're a fish that jump back on the boat <laughs> and wouldn't get off. You just <laughs> oh. Hello, <you> fish. <laughs> so do you fish here often? Yeah, 
That's what you do to all the fish you catch and just throw them away. <laughs> so you don't want to be no asshole. So you're like, no, you're the last fish I ever wanted to catch in my entire life. <laughs> yep, that's it. Just you and me. So if it's just you and me, why do you still have your boat? Like, uh, what? <laughs> I gotta sink my fucking boat, bitch. <laughs> well, what do you need one for? <laughs> Just me and my fish. The last one. Look at her. Boy, that is fucking anger. That's your woman, is her? No, she just mad. <laughs> I'm trying to help you out, miss. I'm trying to help you with a little bit of man honesty, because I know it's fucked up. This is how the reaction should be, because it's terrible. Because women think, because you can be honest, we can too. Women can just, because honesty starts from your gut and works its way to the mouth. That's what honesty is this. Honesty is boom, bow. That's why women say so much goofy shit, because you can just, what? like, just parrot. What? This is what I feel. What? Me? What? I'm going to fold my arms. What? Two plus two is eight. Ah! Like, oh, it's not, baby. What? What? <laughs> here to here. And they say all kind of goofy shit. So you've been together a long time, right? How much goofy shit she said over there? I mean, look at him laughing. He didn't laugh at shit. She looked right. It never changes. These people are fucking in their early somethings. And he laughed. And they've been together so long, they don't even care no more. But she still looked at him to control his shit. But over the years, at least in the early 50s, you could sock her in the gut and she couldn't tell the police. Now these days, bitches, ah, I'm going to talk. Ah. Angry for what? Uh, not you. I seen her. You're not. This one is. Now, you guys, together. you're not together, but you're dating or something or is a little something going on. Trying the, the, the sexy woman in the blouse and this man here. What's the deal? There is no deal. There's no deal. Did you say there's no deal either? Like, what's going on? You trying to fuck at least anything? <laughs> this is sad. You see why this is sad? There's no deal, right, Booby Scooby? You're not even with her and her pussy's controlling the situation. Are you trying to fuck her? Don't get mad at me either, nigga. I'm trying to help you get some pussy from this angry girl right here. Well, she's insane. You can tell that. He said he got mad. You could hear him back there. This girl comments, she's insane. But she's insane. She's agreeing. I'm not, you know why? Because she's out of her mind. <laughs> yes, she's here alone. She's a bitch in the front by herself. <laughs> I'm not fucking with her. You think I want a fucking fake rape case, nigga? I'm not. <laughs> this crazy bitch wake up her third personality and goes, What am I doing here? Fuck you. Let her fucking sit there. Ah, I'm crazy. Ah. That shit don't bother me, that's all bitches. She's just. whatever. <laughs> oh. Look how men gotta be. Look how me and him at war. He wants some pussy from her. <sighs> yes! Thank you, miss. And her friend sneaks him out, and she goes, That's so true! <laughs> just tell her the truth. What are you doing? I'm trying to help you. We're so distant from each other, men. I'm trying to woman the wingman of the year. <laughs> Why is it taking so long? You didn't feel full of Harvey wall bangers or whatever fucking middle-aged white people drink. <laughs> 
I'll slip down this dirty martini, bitch, and see what we uh, do later. True to olive, too, huh? <laughs> Ladies, you ever known a man long enough for you to say to yourself, this motherfucker act like he's on his period. <laughs> you want to know what a man period is? <laughs> he's being faithful. <laughs> I know if I don't get no side pussy, I get sick, I get headaches, cramps, <laughs> I cry for no reason, I get moody. <laughs> My girl asked me what time it is, I'm like, 12 o'clock, bitch! Did I buy your watch? <laughs> pussy. And you look at me like I'm crazy, lady. She's grabbing on him. She's grabbing on him. You know, I'm not crazy. Look what we deal with with y'all. Why the fuck can't y'all just give that to us? Have a little threesome talk. Why can't we give you your shit? And quite frankly, God <laughs> has to be a man. If you believe in God, he has to be a man because of what he's done to women to make you so miserable. On a regular basis. <laughs> yeah, your period is shocking. It's unnecessary. Like, look, if my nose bled every month, for five, I would shoot myself in the fucking head. I would think I was dying anyway. I'm like, oh, damn. Again with the nose bleed? You gotta stick something in your nose with a string hanging out? Take that out every five minutes. <laughs> and five days before your nose bleed, you know it's going to bleed, but you don't know exactly when, so you're just sitting there angry, waiting for your fucking bloody nose. Like, fuck, when is it going to be here? And if it doesn't come on time, you mad. Like, fuck, when my nose bleed, it's supposed to be bleeding. Miserable. How the fuck you think you want to make my life happy when God has done what he's done to you? It's just <laughs> sitting down to pee? Holy shit. I've sat down to pee before where, you know, I thought I had this shit, but I, I just had to pee. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there with my dick between my legs, <laughs> pants around my ankles. I start to get cold. I feel vulnerable. <laughs> can't fight off a tax, somebody runs in and give me your money, motherfucker. I'm like, wait a minute, I'm sitting down to pee. My pants are around my ankles. Wait. It makes you sad. Having babies, loving babies, forever. I'm 40 years old, my mother still loves me. I'm like, for what? Oh, why? That's because I'm her baby for some reason. Men don't love as well as women do, not the children. Any men in here that's in their 40s and your father's still alive, does he love you like my boy? He's like, like, what's your credit score, you fucking nothing? <laughs> 690, faggot, you ain't shit. But mother's love, man. I don't even think men should be near kids for this first, what, couple of years at least? <laughs> Why should we be in a kid's life? Like, at least when it stops being, like, whatever this is. I don't even know what this is. You know. These little things that can't even hold their head up. And you ever see a guy holding his little thing at the mall and the baby is looking and the wife is yelling, I'm holding his fucking head up, stupid! And he's like, I didn't know. I thought he was looking at something. I'm trying to shit. fuck you looking at, man? <laughs> You give me a newborn baby, it'll be dead in 48 to 72 hours. <laughs> like, what you mean it can't take a bath by itself? You got a punk ass baby, you got this much water in your fucking tub. You can't turn his face to the left. You got a faggot drown? What kind of pussy ass nigga is this? love a little bit better too is because eggs are important. Sperm means nothing. I never met my father and I don't give a fuck because I know what I could have been because I know how unimportant sperm is to me. I was just sperm. But I made it. I could have been down a tub drain on a sock. Uh, 
on a computer keyboard. I didn't know how to do it. But I'm the chosen low. Like I'm, I'm the fucking low. Cause I know what I do to sperm. I'm like, Ugh, on the floor. Look at that. Could have been life. <laughs> it's not. It's on the floor in the air. <laughs> Still, still, sir. No, stopped. Long time ago. That, see, that's I love the fact that we mentor each other. Now, how old are you? Now, give me. This. You're in your seventies. Well, I have high blood pressure and diabetes. I'm forty. I'm your age. I'm. I'm, I'm you're the same age, actually. You know, I'm you. <laughs> so you stopped. Now, when was the age where you just stopped that? 45, you stop jerking off. This is interesting as shit, man. <laughs> See, ladies, you don't mentor each other. Old women don't talk to old, younger women like, oh, don't no worry, your clitoris gonna be dead. <laughs> oh, you do the threesomes now. At 45, she finally gave in. You gave her, <laughs> you gave her ultimatum? Listen, bitch. Bring somebody else in or I'm gonna fucking kill you and kill myself and that's the final offer. <laughs> I still love jerking off. That's another big thing, ladies. Why don't you have a money shot? That's what I'm, like, wouldn't you be happy? If you could just fire an egg, like, instead of, like, <laughs> like, men come just like you. Like, we both go, oh, oh, oh. But I have, like, a receipt that says what this is. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that right there. Damn. But women, when you, why can't you just, how much fun would you have just firing an egg? Right in his fucking face. <laughs> if you could fire Ed, you would fuck him tonight, so just so you can pssst. open your mouth, motherfucker. Pssst. Take it. Pssst. Oh, oh, pssst. oh. Right on his forehead. Get on your knees. I'm coming. Pssst. Oh, nice egg on his cheek. You like get up and go wash your face off, pussy. Oh, that was a good egg, and you just sit there and hold your pussy like oh. Oh, that egg so good as a motherfucker. <laughs> I hope they're going to fuck, man. I'm going to listen at the door, nigga, with an EKG machine. All right, you guys, do your thing. <laughs> I'm not sitting around not gambling for this. <laughs> Come on. That's the next time she comes. If she hit for 250, oh, oh. Yeah. <sighs> that motherfucker said he stopped jerking off at 45. I believe him. I believe him because my sex drive's dipping. Yeah, it is. I feel it. I feel it. But here's how wonderful God is to men. Where I used to be horny, my horniness is being replaced with creepiness. Like. <laughs> Come sitting at the mall watching young bitches try on sneakers at the <laughs> with creepy face. <laughs> Take care, guys. You made it pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. For It's alright. Don't they give out complimentary diapers and shit in this fucking oh. shitty hotel? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga's urinary track is. That's a fucked up thing. I'm getting older, my sex drive is dipping, I don't give a shit. Women's sex drive, you want to do all your fucking between the ages of 30 and 50. But the value of vagina is only good from 18 to 29. 
<laughs> Pussy get old like bread, not like wine. <laughs> Glass of pussy, would you like a 62 and chocolate blanc? You'd be like, this. Yeah. Throw that shit back in the cellar. <laughs> you ain't got a better year, 89, 91. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying old pussy bad, I'm just saying, that, look, the difference between 40 old pussy and 20 is the amount of time you wait for it. That's it. Like, I wait for 20. I'm not supposed to be feeling 20 year old anyway. I'm gonna grab a 20 year old titty. She's like, stop. I'm like, why? I got some candy. Go get the candy. I'm over 40. Give that shit. Come on. I don't even wait. One day, one and a half days. Like today, a full today, and then half of tomorrow. Rolling them big draws down from, from where they all pull up to your titty. Just, Hit that shit up. That's what I'm saying. I'm not waiting around for the whole pussy, man. That's it. I'll eat some stale cracker jacks, but I want them shits right now. If I go, hey, baby, give me them stale cracker jacks right there, you go, come and get them. I'll be like, bitch, just throw them on the floor. They old. The box is open. The prize ain't even in no more. Where's the man find Saving an asshole. Oh, some old bitch, I'm taking it. Miss, come on, talk to me. He needs to know. Come on, I know you do everything. How old are you, by the way? Yeah, how old are you? Come on now. Fuck all that shit. Be proud. How old are you? And you look like you had no work or nothing done. Like you look straight up natural. So you look good. How old are you? You're not going there? I'll go there. Um, <laughs> you're over your thirties. You're not in your fifties. You're forty something. Oh, you're older than forty. You look fucking magnificent. Good bra, shit, keeping your titties up. Just fucking miss. Not bad. No wonder he's throwing his p's and q's trying to get that. Still nice and healthy. Oh, get fucking gets nice and gets nice and wet. How dirty are you? Stop looking for at your friends for help. Like, huh? still gets nice and healthy, wet, deliciously wet. Pussy still gets wet, dude. I thought it would dry up by now, but it's fucking. She's over. She's in her fifties, man. Pussy's still beating with. You've been waiting for a while for some good 50 old pussy man. How long have you been keeping this nigga waiting for this pussy mess? Is it shaved up? Because white men love shaving their pussy. I don't like that shaved pussy shit. It looks like an uncooked chicken thigh. I like, I like my pussy to look adult. A little bit of fur in that motherfucker shaving that way. This is the question. See, you mad at me, but this is what you should be asking instead of whining and dying at every fucking day. Start fucking asking us some dirty questions. She's ready to go. Come on, Sal. Are you? Are you am I close? Look <laughs> just like a fucking douchebag Sal. <laughs> Treating me like an asshole. I'm trying to get him some fucking pussies. You like an asshole, Sal? <laughs> Talk to me, Sal. Are you? I, you know who I'm talking to. It's close enough. You lick an asshole? Do you lick asshole? Before you met her, did you lick an asshole? <laughs> it's disgusting. I'm talking about licking 50 year old asshole. What, miss? You said you was 50. You said you was, th when I said you was in your 40s, you said thank you. You said I love you for saying I was in your 40s, which means you're a little older than the 40s. It means you're younger. If I say you're 40 and you go, I love you, that means what, you're 32? <laughs> this is the shit you call on Sam. I've been hitting you nonstop, I'm sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, God, poor Sam. I'm an asshole licking. I'm, I'm into it. Well, ain't one year licking asshole yet? 
Yes? I <laughs> mean, I love it. I think it's beautiful. I think a woman's asshole is just, I don't know how I got into it. When I was a young guy, I used to go, ew. Now I'm big into it. <laughs> kiss an asshole. I've kissed an asshole before. <laughs> That's pretty, because I've never run into a woman with a bad asshole, like, where it stinks. Never. I've been down there a lot of years, and I've never run into a woman with a stinking asshole. Like, where you go, what the fuck? I can't live this. It stinks. Never. Smelly, yeah, because, but I like a smelly asshole. Who gives a shit? I'm, I'm, she must have been roller skating or something. I lick a roller skating ass or jog into the store. Fucking tear that up. Pussy that close to the fucking asshole sound. That close. Why wouldn't you just taste it, man? Give it a taste. The black kiss is what they call it. Mm. Right there. You know how close it is? You stick your finger in the asshole and your thumb in the vagina. You can touch your finger. That's how close it is. And if you get far enough in, you can snap. I've done it. You can snap your fucking finger. You can sh- 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 Oh my god. How can you not lick a woman's ass on this tight motherfucking crowd? And I'm not even saying women should return the favor. A woman will lick a man's asshole is a special kind of stinking ass tramp. And I mean that with love in my heart, you fucking filthy bitch. You lick a man's asshole, you piece of shit. That is some funky, dirty shit. You put your face down in a man's asshole, you scumbag with balls sitting on your cheek. Dick on your temple, your face smell like ass, you fucking piece of garbage. But I, but I salute you, you fucking foul whore. I like foul whores, baby. If you ain't a foul whore, you might get the fuck out of my bedroom. You know, oh, oh, it's disgusting. Leave, bitch, and become a whore. You'll come back and see me. Oh, girl that spits. Any girls here that give head? If you suck dick and you think that's enough, try spitting. Start off with two E, because you know, and work your way up to. (laughs) And gagging a little. (laughs) Bitch gag on my dick. I'll marry that bitch. I'll marry my dick. I guess she's fucking. But my dick ain't all that big. So this on my dick, I'll be like, for real? Line. Give me confidence. Let me do the Superman stand. Like that's right, bitch. I'll kill you next time. With this giant dick down your throat. Beg for mercy. Any noise? Little air come out the pussy. How good do you feel? You just <laughs> there is no space for nothing inside them. Not even air. Get the fuck out of here. Get my dick take up all the room. Hey, I gotta go, man. Y'all take care, son. Appreciate it. Buy one.